In this video, you will learn how to rotate parts. From the main bar toolbar, select Open. Browse to and select clock.ldr. Ensure your grid is set to Course. Zoom to fit the entire project if necessary. Select the yellow part. Notice that the front pane displays the clock face. We want to start by rotating the yellow part with the face of the clock. The front plane displays Y and X, meaning we want to rotate it along the Z axis. In the transformation bar, select one of the Z axis rotations, clockwise or counterclockwise. Notice that the part rotates 90 degrees around its center. We would like to rotate it around the clock center. Rotate the yellow part back to where it started. By default, the rotation point of a part is set to the center of the part. Let's set it to the center of the clock. Mouse over the center of the clock. Notice that the status bar displays the coordinates x equals 0, y equals 0, z equals 0. This is because the clock was built around the origin. Select the yellow part again if necessary. The visibility bar is a toolbar located on the bottom row on the right side next to the zoom bar. The rightmost icon in the visibility bar is the rotation point icon. Click it. In the define rotation point window, select world origin 000 as the rotation point and click OK. The grid is currently rotating 90 degrees at every rotation. This is because the grid is set to course. Change the grid on the mode bar. Choosing Course will cause the part to rotate by 90 degrees. Choosing Medium will cause the part to rotate by 30 degrees. Choosing Fine will cause the part to rotate by 22.5 degrees. Let's try rotating another part. Select the green part. Change the grid to Medium. Click the Rotate along the X-axis button from the Transformation bar. As expected, the part rotates around the origin. Try rotating the green part according to a few different axes. Try to return the piece to its original position. In this video, you learned how to rotate parts. This is the end of the SnapCAD introduction videos.